take everything serious. All the little bitty things, they add up. We got to take, uh, take control of that. We got to take control of grades, discipline in the classroom, discipline out here on the football field. Are you taking care of your body? Are you getting enough rest? Are you really focused on the game or are you worrying about stuff outside that's going to take you away from the team? It's the little things we got to focus on right now. Man, we started off strong first quarter, going a little bit of second quarter, and then we lost focus. You know, when you lose focus, teams like that, you give them a chance, they can it's going to really multiply on you. If you don't take advantage of it while you're on top, and then you'll see a dogfight, you know. And so we, uh, we disappointed ourselves because we lost focus. We came in with a simple game plan, and the last thing we needed to happen was to go out there, take this team lightly, we got up on them a little in the, in the point scores, and then things just went bad when we started letting the you know, snowball effect start happening. You got to take it up high first. You got to attack? Yeah. You got to take it up high first oh, and then go. Going straight up. Huh? He's yeah, he's got to clear for you so you can come, and then you come underneath. You can't get started from that very point. There you go, KK. Rip, 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 rip. Bump left, bump left. Hey, bump left, bump left, rip. Bump left, rip. Bump left, rip. Right there. Step, step, step. No, no, no. Fire. Up and I get lined. As I start to get lined up, I decide I want to go left. I'm going to stick my right foot back. That tells KJ to get behind you and push you to the left. If I stick my left foot back, that tells AJ to push me to the right. I don't. Okay, so if you tell, so right now, go ahead and give one signal. In the, one signal. Go, George. Ready, break. Let's go, D. 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 Lemon Cobb, man, we, we came out and played well early, 34 to zero, midway through the second quarter. Um, I think we got a little bit unfocused and, uh, and and we lost discipline and didn't play well after that. Um, we, we had higher expectations defensively and we had higher expe expectations offensively. And uh, we just kind of um, got to 34 and, and felt like, man, um, we, 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 didn't finish as strong as we'd like to finish. Trips on each side, trips on each side. Now, trips, trips. in both of our individual meetings, the quarter, the coaches talked about when we go dollar, anytime you're the second receiver, once you get to the top, the to the row, you are taking one, two, three, and settling. We're not going all the way to the sideline. Remember you got boom last week, say, corner came down. Quarterback is gonna try to influence that corner to take you, so he's gonna pump it, if the corner triggers, he's throwing a two ball. Let's about this little lady right here. Oh, this is my baby girl. This is Eris, uh, the youngest of five. Um, mom is going to volleyball tonight, and she has basketball practice, so she got to come hang out at football practice. Uh, she kind of reminds me, we watched Remember the Titans the other day, and so she's out here uh, messing with the boys and spraying water, and I've got to go over there and tell her, hey, stop, don't play with the boys, leave them alone. And she's out here with Coach Johnson's daughter, and they're hanging out, and so um, – the three things that I like to base my life on is my faith, my family, and football. Uh, so I tell all the coaches, your family's always uh, invited to practice. Um, Coach Snyder will have his kids out here from time to time. Our wives have lives as well, and sometimes they've got uh, appointments or they've got things scheduled. Drop your kids off, tell them to come hang out, to play or do whatever. So she's out here today hanging out, playing with dad, and uh, we're about to go to basketball practice. Um, she wants to be a basketball player, and she, she's taking a liking to basketball. And so uh, 
heiress Mims means she will inherit something. So we hope to leave her greatness. Hey, let's read this out. All right, it looked like our wheel. Stand up. That makes sense. So keep going first. Hey, Hey, go, AJ. Hey, if he jump inside of you, don't come back and get him. Keep coming, just like you did. Regular two gun, regular two gun. Ready, go. Good, I feel, I feel good. Hey, that's a good block right there, Revy. Hey, 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 scissors, scissors. Week one, I was on, I was on the field. So me being on the field, we wasn't able to communicate from the box. So they moved me up to the box. And um, at first I didn't like it because I felt like it was putting a, a tiger in a cage because I'm an energy guy. You know, so I was like, man, up there in the box, it's calm. It's cool and collective, but I do get to eat good, you know, so that's the plus side of it. But from uh, week one to week five, um, we struggled passing the ball early. Uh, we couldn't we had like 30 yards of passing then the next game we had like 70 and then we start opening it up and getting to like 100 and stuff like that so I feel like we're just getting better each and every game and like I said if we just keep getting better then we're gonna be very dangerous in the passing game always been that guy you know when I when I was playing uh, football when I was playing basketball I was always the energy guy um, I remember in college football I mean college basketball I played college basketball at the University of Texas at Tyler uh, we was playing some team and after the game uh, it was a young lady on Twitter said this number four he needs to be quiet because when I check in the game I'm talking they sparked the beef we gotta go finish I love it I'm glad they came out here talking but they better be about what they talk about. They better be about what they talk about. Quit playing. Quit playing. Love it, cool. We the real 806. Change your area code. Change your area code. Give me two caps to the young boys ain't ready. Young boys ain't ready. Uh, no matter what it is, you know, I'm, I'm talking to the coaches, I'm talking to the other players, you know, that's just my job. I, I come out and I'm the energy guy and people feed off of my energy. And I mean, I don't just talk like I also prove it with my game. I also prove it with my game plan. And that's so I'm trying to get these guys to understand. Yes, we can go out here and talk, but if you're not going to back it up, then I don't want you talking. But I'm the guy that is going to back it up. Everything I say, I'm going to back it up. So, yeah, I mean, I'm the energy guy. I love it. Uh, that's my job. Coach Mim said he put me as the hype man. That's my title. The Hype man. Where my dogs at? 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 Where my soldiers at? No destiny child. You hear me? Shout out to Ben now. Hey! 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 I don't want to be satisfied and just beating them. Let's go beat the brakes off the dog that shit. Let's go beat the brakes off of them. Y'all hear me? Last year was 70, this year 100. North side on me, north side on three. One, two, three. North side! And you know, so we come out here stretching. I'm talking. I'm never going to be quiet. And I mean, they're going to have to, even when we lose, I'm still talking. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, they're going to have to shut me up. Like, that's their job. Shut me up. You shut me up, you win. Now, with that Capra game, you came out in that outfit. Get these boys up out of here. North side forever, man. You know, I came out with my boots. Them was actually my boots. I had to borrow that hat in the rope. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, we was just playing the Longhorns and I, I figured I could be a black cap cowboy for the day. And um, I watched a movie like two days before. It's called The Harder, Harder They Fall. It's a Netflix. Netflix movie about some black cowboys and I was like man that's a great idea so I came out with my cowboy boots and my hat and you know just bringing the energy just giving the guys something to see and uh, I got something special coming for Halloween so <laughs> be ready hey, let's go let's go let's go let's go 
I am Northside Pride. When they talk about Northside Pride, I want everybody to think about me. Um, I, gradu I, I graduated from here in 2012. Um, I was born and raised on the north side of Amarillo. So I am Northside Pride. I'm from Hamlet, the Hamlet area, you know, born and raised. I love it. Um, I mean, Paladero means everything for me. Uh, and honestly, I was I was a basketball guy. I played college basketball. I coached basketball. I was at Dodge City. They asked me to coach football. I said no because I was coaching basketball. Coach Mims came here and I fell in love with football. Like I had an opportunity to go coach straight basketball and I couldn't do it because I want I want to see this program succeed. Like I'm not going anywhere until this program succeed because it's just like when this program succeed, then I feel like the whole north side, the no whole north side succeed. So uh, it'll be I, I just want us to be successful, man. I, I love Paladero. I love the north side. And yeah, I mean, this is home. I'm actually about to go get a Paladero Dawn tatted on me here in, at the end of this month. And I can't wait. So uh, I just had a son. Uh, he's nine months. His name is Malachi Rashad Legend Luke. Um, he man, he's he's the love of my life. Like he was born and he changed my life. Um, I still have my mom here. My mom actually stays down the street from from uh, Paladero. So I mean, she's north side forever. She's gonna be at every home game. She's gonna be at every basketball game. You are gonna see my mom everywhere. She's a big support and the love of my life. I love it. Ain't she a Broncos fan? <laughs> she is a Broncos fan. Go Cowboys! But she's a Broncos fan. <laughs>
be on our physicality for y'all. When they get their hands on y'all, get them off. Y'all don't stay blocked. Get your hands on quick. You engage the block. You initiate the contact. O-line, us, what they look like. Running through their face every play. Double teams, getting your hands on, latching on. Receive what they look like for y'all. They press y'all, if they do press. Get your hands off them. When the ball's in the air, it's all ball. They don't get a chance to get the ball, it's all ball. Uh, quarterbacks, running backs, anybody running the ball, what they look like for us. We don't get tackled on the first first guy. We bounce about tackle, we stiff arm and shit, we truck and shit, we spin and shit, we doing whatever we do. We don't get tackled on the first on the first guy. It's gotta be a mindset that we come out here from the jump to dominate these dudes. Like I said, they don't respect it. They was talking shit to us, hot shit to us on the field. Cause they beat us last year. Right? Only way to only way to show them up to hit them in their mouth. Let's do it. Season. We talked about this all offseason. Get your name on the gold ball. Paladero football has not won a district championship since y'all win, Coach Hood. Was y'all district champs in 05? Last district championship at Paladero High School in football was 2005. Haven't won a district championship since then. This was the last gold ball that Paladero won, 2014. You win a gold ball, you win a playoff game, you get your name on the plaque. And we've been working for moments like this. But you don't get there unless you take care of games like this. Yeah. You gotta go be the most physical guys on the field. Go to jump if you want something like this. Yeah. Yeah. These guys' games are ingrained in history. You can't ever take their name off of this. Let's go make ourselves more. Forever known in Paladero history, we will be the group that won the first district championship in 20 years. But you gotta go take care of
slow down the field. I need us to speed it up. All right, this is when I need you to be the fastest. Okay, drive down the field, stay in our lanes, break down, all right? We work straight and block a lot of times, okay? Get past him, get back in my lane, and track just like in that coverage drill, right? Last time we were in here two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we were in the same position. We were down, and we had to come back to the ball game. I believe in your coaches. I believe in the game plan that we're about to put together and finish this second half. And I believe in you. Let's go execute what we are talking about. Offensively, penalties are killing us. We get, we get some momentum, we get a block in the back. We get some momentum, we got 12 men on the field. We get some momentum, and we do something stupid. Let's clean it up. Offense, we got two turnovers, so to the two touchdowns. Special team, we give it up a touchdown. Let's go clean up our errors. Right now we battle. This is a heavyweight fight. We went down 14-0 quick, and we came back and put up our own 14. Offense, we owe. Special teams, we owe. Defense, I need to stop, and I need us to keep contained. This morning, my mama said, stay in the fight, right? Yes, sir. But we in. Don't stop swinging until that last, uh, that last whistle blow. Let's go. Yes, sir!
You got guys out here playing with envy. Fight their ass off, and then some selfish person take that away from them. Take the opportunity away from them. The same people that I'm dealing with, the same people that's late all the time, but don't even show up. Ain't that a coincidence? You just live as a low character person. You have no discipline throughout your life. We got one loss in the district. Some of y'all need to look in the damn mirror. I always tell those men, I don't even like for captains to go out because we don't have captains in my eyes. I didn't see one people, one person lead us on defense tonight. I got guys looking shell shocked, the next man beside them just looking at them. Y'all gotta look in the mirror, man. Get some big crossroads for them. Well, we can just flush it down. We can turn down the rest of you. Start some Marvel film. Let's see who misses. Probably the same guy. Kill me on what? One! Family. Family.